Hey everybody, this is Ingram Engineering with a video today focusing on the OA241 discrete op amp module. But before getting into the details of that, I'd like to ask if you could please like and subscribe to this video channel. We would thank you for that. So what is the OA241? It's a proprietary Ingram Engineering discrete audio amplifier module, and it fits the footprint that was established by API for their 2520 op amp as used in the 312 preamp and a lot of other similar gear. So there's a lot of gear out there today that uses that footprint and the OA241 can drop into any of those applications, either as a replacement for a damaged unit or for an upgrade to the sound. So what makes the OA241 different? Well, to start with, it's a full 6 dB quieter than even the modern versions of the 2520 type op amps. And the sound is, is not quite as, I'll say, forward as the 2520. Uh, one way that can be used to describe the sound, if you can imagine a triangle, and on one point of the triangle you have the sound of a 2520 type op amp, and another point of the triangle you have a Neve type sound. And on the third point of the triangle you have clean designs such as Millennium Media or uh, Jensen 990 types. And the OA241 exists sort of in the middle of that imaginary triangle. That analogy is the result of a bunch of listening tests that we did here in the lab, but also in a bunch of studios, where in some cases we had a room full of killer musicians and uh, recording engineers. And what we did is a lot of uh, sessions where we had live music tracks that were split between designs that used the OA241 and other designs such as Neve or John Hardy, which uses the Jensen 990 or API types. Uh, for other cases. And what we did is we had, in some cases, blind listening tests where we could put up the music that was recorded through each of the different sets of gear and then have folks comment and choose which one they preferred. And we're real happy to say that in, in a significant number of those cases that designs that used the OA241 was, was chosen. It was the, the one that was preferred over the others. Maybe one of the nicest features of the OA241 is the way it handles the transition from the linear region into the region where you have first soft compression with a nice sounding second order harmonic distortion, and then transition from there to the top end of the range where you'll have more of the saturated sound. That, unlike the integrated op amp ICs, and also unlike, I'd say, most of the discrete op amp modules that are out there that behave more like integrated ICs. And the way the OA241 is integrated into the Ingram Engineering gear, there's a full 20 dB range over which the transition takes place from linear into soft compression then into saturation. So you avoid the situation where you have nice, clean, linear sounding uh, audio until the point where you suddenly reach clipping uh, in a way uh, that can be described like a hockey stick if you look at it on a, on a graph. We've been using this design since the beginning in all, all of our preamps. Earlier it was implemented as a, a module that was placed into sockets in the gear like the MPA 685. In uh, later generations though, such as the MPA 575, it was installed directly on the PCB. But now we've come full circle and we're offering it again as a module that you can buy as a standalone piece. All of that good sound quality is not worth anything if a module stops working. So with that in mind, we've designed the OA241 with an integrated heat sink and with a unique heat spreading output stage to have the best thermal performance and uh, the longest life. It's potted to protect it against mechanical stresses. It has surge protection on the input and the output and also uh, protection against RF interference. The module ships with a low profile, short pins, uh, but can be made available with longer pins for the cases where there might be components that are installed on the PCB directly underneath the module. So contact us if you have any questions about the avail availability of that. So keep us in mind as you think about buying replacements for blown modules or as you explore substitutes that could give you a different and upgraded sound quality. 
By the way, we're coming up on the 10-year anniversary of the introduction of the MPA 575 channel strip. And around that time, we'll have a major announcement about a new product that uses the OA241 discrete op amp module. So stay tuned, subscribe to this channel, shoot us an email, and look out on the website for more info about uh, this and other projects. Thank you.